if not making the contemplation and, and meditating, tafakkur is the Islamic word for it, then the depth of the teaching doesn't make sense, the teaching is not meant for the head. This is not the abode of, of the head because it goes beyond the ability of the head to apprehend. The head to apprehend, it's a touchy-feely that the head only knows that which it can touch and feel. And to witness this reality, to understand this reality is in the depth of the heart. And that's why we say, don't approach the Divine and God by the head but you approach by the heart. The head is, is for physical matters like, what is this chair? I touch it, I feel it, I get a sense of it, food, I smell it. I get a sense of what it's going to taste but this reality is not based on, on the physical confines of our senses but based on the limitless spiritual ability of the heart in which the, the hearing and Divinely hearing has no limit, spiritual seeing has no limit, spiritual feeling has no limit, spiritual knowledges has no limit. So it's a timeless, limitless reality that's trying to be learned by people whom are very timed and limited. If they live within their physical matter and the physical confines of their being. So teaching and spiritual teaching is a continuous state of leave your physicality, leave all of these restrictions, leave the restriction of your hearing leave the restriction of your seeing, leave the restriction of your ability to think and to, to think through your heart versus your head because the head has, has confines or, or blockages. When you talk too much and the person is of a headly nature and that they, they perceive everything through the head, it like blows a fuse, they're like, mm, well I don't know what you're talking about. Because it's beyond the perception of their physical realm of, of touching, feeling and actually seeing in the physical. So this knowledges and this path, its depth is only by the heart. That's why if we don't keep repeating that people have to meditate, contemplate, otherwise this form of teaching makes no sense to them and better they go somewhere else that doesn't require the meditation. Because those people don't like meditating and they don't like the Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. These subjects, so you'll see the types of people based on our spiritual journey. So we come across a, a group of people that say, you know, I don't like all of these t teachings and this type of talking and why you don't just stick to Islamic fiqh? How much wudu, how much water we have to make for wudu and uh, read some hadiths that are for people to understand and do's and don'ts and forbiddens and punishments. And they don't like the esoteric and spiritual. And they don't like meditation and they don't believe in tafakkur and contemplation. And as a result we've described many times Allah puts within the heart of people, they have a yearning. The people of tafakkur and what we described last week, that's we never heard any questions about it, is when Allah is giving by negation, none will know it but the people of tafakkur. So when you come across people saying, oh you know my shaykh just talked about this and they say, why is this, this is not acceptable, well that's what Allah meant by none will know it. That's why the path is not meant that to, to take deep realities and just throw it out to everybody 
And especially if you're not the shaykh, we don't mind doing on social media, take our articles, spread them everywhere. But turn off your comments because the nun will know it will be the ones whom are commenting. The ones whom Allah negated to know that they're not to know it, they won't know it and hence they're the first ones to make comments that, what is this, what is that, where, where you come from this, what is this. Those are the none will know it category. Allah already gave us that, watch out for them, none will know it. So out of the 99.9% .9 there's but 001% that Allah inspired to be from people of tafakkur. Means out of 7 billion people on this earth, how many are inspired to deeply meditate? And based on their meditation to carry the discipline of Islamic meditation. Means some people got a little bit closer, they want to meditate but then you know their inappropriate dress, inappropriate understanding that has you know one understanding. but. Those who also want to contemplate in tafakkur but they want the disciplines of Islam, they want the discipline of the spiritual path then very, very limited. And as a result those whom are inspired by Allah to be students of that way of tafakkur and contemplation in which they apply their disciplines, begin to meditate, begin to contemplate, begin to visualize their shaykh because they know in this realm of unseen they don't want to go alone and that they learn how to keep the companionship. And that companionship is a, is a source of energy for them, a source of verification for them and a source of the reality of reflecting upon them, that which they don't have if they purify their hearts, do their zikr, do their practices, keep the companionship of these lights and this mirror so as to reflect upon them a reality. And as a result they enter into tafakkur, they enter into contemplation, the disciplines of contemplation and that now they can go deeper into the knowledges that require light, the understanding of light, the absorbing of light and of energy. And it's interesting that, that people whom have come to this earth and have spent their life to reveal, they reveal a common theme that for people to understand the unseen and the, the unknown they have to have a strong grasp on energy and light and sound. And as a result of that they can begin to open up limitless realities from the Divinely Presence. So one of the more popular whom modern day students and modern day people know Tesla, that he brought knowledges and realities of energy, the use of energy, the use of technologies. And even he's quoted as saying that you won't understand that and you won't understand these knowledges unless you have a strong understanding of energy and light. And that's an ancient reality that Prophet brought, that Islam is the perfection of these realities from the holy sunnah and all the disciplines of the practices were meant to take humanity to the highest realm of knowledges. Like an astronaut is one thing to learn about the science but it's one thing to be dressed in the science. Means for all these people when they bit a, get a little bit of the glimpse of these realities they don't have the entire perfection that Prophet brought that you should dress as a traveler of this reality, you eat like the traveler of this reality, you have the discipline of praying, the discipline of your character, your behavior, your mannerisms as a time traveler and as a traveler within the realms of light. So you see that the perfection of what Prophet brought was the perfection of its entirety. So some of these thinkers and contemplators and engineers and inventors they were only getting a portion of that reality. But they didn't get the discipline of how to eat, how to dress, how to pray, how to have an internal discipline. And as a result many of the realities had overtaken them and destroyed them. 
because they didn't have that whole perfection that Prophet brought of its entirety. So that's the, the great, the great news and, and great reward for the believer is that by following the way of Sayyidina Muhammad they have an immense ability to enter into these oceans of reality, to be protected by it, to be protected from it and to have all of the dress and in entirety of what can be achieved by this reality through the way of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's immense, immense. That's why when we're teaching so much week after week after week and going back and trying to read if people are getting this or we're just moving too fast and that's the concern. So when we hear the comments and hear the questions then we get a, a gauge of you know there's certain subjects maybe we have to keep going over. So that to gauge that people are, are understanding the subject matter and we said even the books that we have are all related, it's like a curriculum. So once you get the energy book, well this is all about energy. Once you get the meditation book, well how to unlock these energies is through the tafakkur. Once you get the understanding of Surah Yaseen then it's the heart in which this energy is coming and the realities of the house of Allah that emanating from this heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Then when you want to go inside that heart it's the levels of the heart and the lataif of the qalb in which all that occupy the home of Allah within our wujud, within our being. And then the realities of the hijrah and the hajj and a continuous pilgrimage to the Divinely Presence. So it's an entire curriculum of realities, like a student who enrolls within a university but this is a university at your own pace. If you don't have the energy book then you're, you're deficient in your understanding of energies. If you don't have the meditation book then you're deficient in your understanding of meditation and contemplation. Like we said before, it wasn't written for me. Because we already know those in which Allah has put within the heart. But for the students of this way who want to take that curriculum and to go deeper into its understanding, deeper into its realities, when they read it they hear the talks, they meditate, they, they basically bring and revive that teaching within their daily life then gives them the ability to go deeper and deeper. And as a result then the shaykh can talk about deeper subjects of these realities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.